Looking back, it's a fascinating development of events and coincidences. And I'm very grateful that I found my destiny as a composer. It took me a long while to realise it. And it began with being asked by the head of English at my first school to write incidental music for King Lear, which I did and I found very easy. And much to my surprise, people kept complimenting me on it and a BBC producer was at the production one night and insinuated that I should be composing more and that if, that if I were to the BBC might be interested in using some of my music. It felt natural to me to be a creative and I found myself saying well yes but can't other people do this you know I, I thought it was just a part of being a musician somehow. Some parents commissioned me to write a new work for the school choral society, a choral society of about 100 singers, I should think. And it was a setting of the wedding at Cana, Christ's first miracle. And my brother, to whom I'm very close, uh, who's also very creative with words, um, he is a priest, he's just retired as a priest actually, but thought that this first miracle from St John's Gospel would make a brilliant text. And lo and behold, we perform this work and various things kind of happened then. I found it very difficult to assign the label composer. And at this point, I suppose I was thinking it's just something I'm dabbling with and it's good fun and I'll go back to teaching. But there was a huge response to the wedding at Cana. And as a result of that, I was asked to be resident composer at Charterhouse. After seven years at Charterhouse, I knew that the point had come for me to take that very big and important decision that a lot of creative people have to take, most creative people, whether you're a novelist or a, a painter or whatever, you, you sacrifice things for your art. So I sacrificed a full-time salary. Anyway, I took this step at the age of 37. I thought, if I'm going to do it, I've got to do it before I'm 40. There followed two frugal years when I was quite depressed, um, struggled financially, be very open about this, but came through that and I put everything I had, materially, mentally, creatively, into a project called Blue in Blue. Within a year, by the end of 2002, I had written the Bluebird Variations and conceived a whole album thematically related, not musically, but more um, dramatically to the to the Bluebird by Stanford, and I loved the I loved the words towards the end of the poem of the Bluebird, where he talks of the the blue of the sky and the blue of the lake and the blue of the bird itself and that moment that image where all the blues come together. And I formed my own choir. I went round the Royal College of Music and the Academy and the Guildhall and I put notices on the student union board saying I was going to form my choir if people were interested, come and audition. And I formed my own choir called Conventus. And then came the phone call late January 2004. Classic FM, we've heard this album, we'd love to make it our CD of the week. Are you OK with that? And I said, yes, I'm OK with that. And suddenly I went from having no audience or an audience of friends and family and ex-pupils to having an audience of six million. And that made all the difference in my life. And without that radio station, I don't think I would be here now talking about my music. And then they made me their resident composer for two years. And then my career was up and running. And it had paid off. Having faith in... Whatever gift I'd been given paid off. It took me 39 years to realise I'd been given a gift. OK, that's long enough. I, be I know you've given me a gift. I used to worry it would disappear, but my brother, who's a priest, said, if you give a gift, do you want it back? I said, no. He says, well, you've been given a gift. Nobody's going to want it back. It's that was very important for me. Um, and God doesn't give a gift and you say... Thank you for the gift, but I wish it could have been better. 
it's like a kid opening a Christmas present. I know that must happen quite a lot. But, you know, in terms of being given a creative gift, you're given the creative gift. It couldn't be better. <laughs>